Akrotiri and Dekelia form the sovereign base areas. They're British enclaves on the island of Cyprus. Due to the presence of the Royal Air Force, civilian development and access to some of the base areas has been restricted, and much of Akrotiri and Dekelia remains wild and undeveloped. Akrotiri is home to a system of wetlands and marshes, and the biggest salt lake on the island of Cyprus, now declared a wetland of international importance under the Ramsar Convention. These habitats teem with birds and other wildlife. One of the largest populations of flamingos in Europe comes here to filter brine shrimp and other organisms from the water. And the forests surrounding this wilderness are also home to chameleons, one of only two species with ranges that extend into Europe. At higher altitudes outside the base areas, in the Trudos Mountains, an RAF site high on the slopes is home to tall pine forests and stands of beautiful native wildflowers. Both Akrotiri and Dekelia occur close to heavily populated areas. Just across the border from Akrotiri lies Limassol, the second largest city in Cyprus with over 160,000 people. But paradoxically, because of the sovereign base areas, the beaches immediately next to Limassol remain undeveloped, and large swathes of globally important habitat remain completely intact and wild, just a few kilometers from the city center. But it's not just wildlife that's preserved within the sovereign base areas. For thousands of years, both enclaves have been strategically important, and they are littered with historical sites and artefacts. Just on Akrotiri alone, hundreds of archaeological sites have been found, spanning the ancient Greek and Roman periods, and even earlier. A few highlights include the sprawling sanctuary to Apollo at Curion, which appears to have been a major settlement site, an ancient game stadium, and at Curion Beach, a large temple complex with rows of pillars. Down the coast, a vast amphitheatre complex has also been unearthed, along with exquisite mosaics and extensive ruins of a settlement. Elsewhere on the Akrotiri Peninsula, a large quarry site has been found from the Greco-Roman period, with chambers cut directly into the rock. The cliff sides of the south of Akrotiri are home to complexes of ancient arched tombs, which once held coffins made of clay or wood and around the arched tombs, the ground is literally carpeted with fragments of broken ancient pottery. Within minutes, handfuls may be seen. It's a wonderful paradox that the presence of these military bases has inadvertently created some of the best preserved wildlife refuges in the entire Mediterranean, and enabled archeological sites of such importance to survive completely undisturbed. Long may the treasures of Akrotiri and Dekelia remain. The Britain's Treasure Islands book explores the unique wildlife, cultures and history of all of the UK overseas territories. Visit britainstreasureislands.com for details. In sincere thanks to Lord Ashcroft, for funding the donation of one copy of the Britain's Treasure Islands book to every secondary school across the UK and her overseas territories. Thanks also to all Kickstarter backers and all sponsors and partners for making the 40 mini documentaries possible. <laughs>